called Boo My Food. It's a crack party! While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How do we get there? Come on, let's go! Great Teenage! Amazing! What a great day! Something's in the air! Listen, do you hear all those creatures singing? your songs. Everybody's singing today. Whoa! Oh, even Martin. And her. Another great singer, a chipmunk. The creature world is full of great singers. Loons that call across the lake. There's lots to sing about. And every creature has a different reason for singing. And there are lots of great singers around. Except one's missing. Zabu. Zabu! Zabu Mafu! Zabu! Zabu! He's here! Hey, Zabu! Feel like singing today? How about other singers? You see anybody out there? Actually, Zabu, can you sing? You know Zabu. He doesn't talk until he's had his snack. Come on, Zabu. We have apples today. Here you go, buddy. Yeah. Zabu loves apples. Everybody, it's great to see you today. That was some burp, Zabu. What'd you think of that? Yeah, I burp when I'm Vuki. Oh, brothers, look! Manga Tsika, the singing. I love the singing. So did the creature I saw. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Bird feet. Bird feet with claws. A bird body and bird wings. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. He flew up on a branch and sat there, just like me. <laughs> who could it be? Animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He's a bird who likes to sit on my head. Do you know who he is? All right, so what do you think, Chris? Do you think you know who he is? Well, it's gotta be a bird. Definitely. Of course, because he's covered with uh, feathers. Guys? Likes to sing. Brown and white. Uh, Chris? Stripes on his feathers. Martin? Do you know what kind of bird it is? Crack Brothers. Wow. A, a kookaburra! Manga Tsika! Mystery Animal's here! The kookaburra is a great singer. Look at that strong, powerful beak. Yeah, that's a sure sign that a kookaburra is a predatory bird. Kookaburras eat mice, insects, fish, lizards, and other birds. Uh, wait, wait a second. They don't eat lemurs, do they? <laughs> no, they just sit on lemurs' heads. Uh, 
Look at the kookaburra's nails. They're long and pointed, perfect for hanging on to branches. Check out these blue feathers on his wings. Yeah, a kookaburra has spots on his wing that are the color of the sky. What Mangatsika feathers? How about this? You want to see something really neat? Watch how when I move my arm, the kookaburra's body moves, but his head stays perfectly still. I can't believe my mind. Hey, I want to hear what the kookaburra sounds like. But he's not singing now. How come? I don't know. That's a good question, Zabu. I wish he would sing. Yeah, we might have to wait till sunset, though, because that's when kookaburras really get singing. And a lot of creatures sing at night. When it starts getting dark, that can be prime time for creature songs. Owls start hooting. <laughs> Raccoons get chortling. Oh yeah, some creatures sing all night long. And you know when they start? At sunset. Sunset? I can't wait till sunset to hear the kookaburra sing. Well, then we'll have to figure something else out, Zabu, because you have to hear the kookaburra sing. It's such an amazing song. Oh, you'll love it. Well, hey, you know, sometimes a kookaburra sings to warn other kookaburras of danger. But there's no danger here. This is Animal Junction. Oh, yeah, so that won't work. Oh. Hey, I've got another way. No, 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 this no, no, no. Is don't easy. tell me, don't no, tell Zabu, me, don't tell me. Can I can figure this. it out myself. <laughs> don't tell me, I can't hear you. Can't hear you. I can't hear Martin. Okay, oh, Zabu, let me know if hundy, you need a little help. Hundy, hundy, huh? I can't hear Martin. I can't. Hey, where'd he go? I can figure this out. I know I can. Hmm, I can't figure this out. How to get Kookaburra to sing? Well, other creatures, what makes them sing? Sometimes creatures sing to tell others where they are. Like if a coyote is separated from his group, he'll howl. <laughs> and others will howl back to let them know they're close by. That's how coyote packs stick together in their home range. Well, maybe Kookaburra isn't singing because he has no place to live. Hey, maybe if we help Kookaburra build his nest, he'll get happy and sing. Might be worth a try. Let's build a nest. Okay, all right, let's build a nest. Um, how do you build a nest? It's as easy as whistling. Oh, whistling. <laughs> Mm. If it's as easy as whistling, nest building looks pretty hard. Kookaburras peck at a termite mound until the hole is big enough to fit into. Oh, let me try. Oh, termite mounds are hard as a rock. Oh. That's because they're made of mud, sand, and termite spit that's been baked in the sun. What? Yeah, Zob, termite spit. The worker termites go out and collect mouthfuls of earth. Then they bring the dirt back, wet it with their spit, and pack it onto the mound. Then the spit dries, holding all the little pieces together, making a mound that's hard as a rock. As hard as a rock? Just about. Oh. Now that's hard. It's amazing that a kookaburra's beak and neck muscles are strong enough to bust a hole in a termite mound. Wow. Oh. Hey. Hey, Kookaburra. Watch it. Uh, oh, well, it's okay. Nice nest hole. Kookaburra will sing now, won't he? No, nope, I guess not. I'll have to think of something else. Sing like me, Cookie! Making a nest isn't the way to get a Kookaburra to sing. Okay, so you want to know how to get a kookaburra to sing? Huh? All you have to Monday, do is... Monday, I can't hear you. Well, you know Zabu. He always has to figure things out for himself. A snack. Kookaburra will sing after eating a snack. Well, just like me. I won't chat until I've had my snack. But once I've had leaves that are just right for lemur bellies, I can't stop talking. <laughs> So maybe Kookaburra will sing after he snacks. Now let's see, uh, there's camel, and there's Kookaburra, and Kookaburra meat. Whoa! Whoa. Uh-oh. Not hungry, huh? Hmm, so much for that idea. Any luck? No, he's not hungry, and he's still not singing. After a snack, I always feel like singing and burping. Hey. 
That reminds me of something that happened in Zabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. Trying to find someone to sing with me. Oh, hi, Zabu. Hi, Goobal. Will you sing a song with me? Oh, but Zabu, I don't have the mood for singing. Hey, oh. I bet I know what will make you feel like singing. Huh? Follow me. Oh, <laughs> okay. I don't know what it could be, though. Gobble some berries, Goobal. Oh. That'll put you in the mood for singing. Okay, Zabu. Well, yummy, but I still don't have the mood hmm, for singing. That didn't work, so I had to think of something else. Yeah. Hey, Narchi, how can I get Goobal to sing? Well, let's try playing Goobleberry Catch, Zabu. That'll get Goobal singing sure as anything. Oh, good <laughs> idea, huh? Uh -huh I'm, I'm ready. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Goobleberry Catch is fun and yummy, but I still don't have the mood for singing. Hmm. I know. Your voice sounds dry, Goobal. You must be thirsty. Yeah, yeah, I am thirsty for jolly. Then come on over. Yeah, come on over. Drink, drink. So Goobal slurped up all the jelly. <laughs> Slip and sing, yeah. Goobleberry jelly. That's the thing. <laughs> Goobleberry jelly. jelly. Slurp and sing. Goobleberry jelly. That's so the that's thing. what made Goobal sing. But what about oh. Kookaburra? <laughs> How do I get him to sing? I can't figure it out. You crats have to help me. And you have to help me too. Okay, if you want to get a kookaburra to sing, all you have to do is sing, sing like, like a kookaburra. kookaburra. I knew that. All right, okay, ready? Ready. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Up. Way to go! Now I have to learn how to whistle. <laughs> Once he gets started, the kookaburra can't stop. He can't get enough of this singing. Let's join him. Come on, sing along! would make such a splash. <laughs> That's our Zabu. What a nutty lemur. <sighs> Incoming duck. It's not a duck. It's a frog. <laughs> of course, a wood frog. Another great singer. He uses his call to attract a mate. Incoming duck. 
Hey, it's a lander falcon. Wow, this is no duck. Message from Jackie. Wow, sparrows, robins, red-winged blackbirds. I love songbirds, and that's why today I made my house safer for songbirds. Windows reflect sky, which make birds think they can fly right through them, but they can't. Sometimes birds fly into windows because they can't see them and can get hurt by the glass. That's good. So the animal helpers and I put stickers of hawks on the windows so the birds know something is there. No songbird's going to get hurt at my house. Yeah, there are lots of great singers in the creature world. But they don't always sound like who they are. Do you know who that is? Let's find out. Sounds like a trip. To the closet. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Righteous. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. That's our cue. See you later, Zob. Bye, guys. Hear those sounds? They're coming from an amazing creature. An elk. And the sounds that an elk makes are called bugles. So let's follow those bugles to the animal who makes them. Whoa! Hey, Chris, you hear that? I heard it loud and clear, Martin. That's one creature who chatters up a storm. A, a red, red squirrel. squirrel! And there she is! The red squirrel's chattering big time. And that's why. A pine martin! The pine martin is one of the red squirrel's predators. And it looks like he's on the prowl. The red squirrel is chattering to let the pine martin know he's been spotted. The squirrel saying, I see you, and I'm fast, so don't even bother trying to catch me. When red squirrels know that a pine martin's around, it makes it harder for a pine martin to catch a squirrel. Well, it looks like the pine martin's given up. So, now it's time for the red squirrels to get back to gathering food. Yeah, pine cones. She's busy storing food, so she has plenty to eat through the winter. Hold it! We're getting distracted. I know, there are so many amazing creatures that make incredible sounds. But we have to stay focused if we're ever going to catch up to a bugling elk. I have an idea. I wonder what he has in mind. Good idea, bro! Woohoo! All right, we're kayaking downriver! OK, now I've got an idea. How about this? Let's see if by bugling like an elk, we can call an elk in. Hit it, Martin. All right, here goes. That was the worst elk bugle I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, he doesn't think so. He must have done something right. <laughs> Male elk hears another elk bugling. He comes to check it out. Males bugle during the rut or mating season, and once in a while, it can lead to an amazing antler fight. Yeah, bull elk test each other by pushing each other with their antlers. Wow. He heard you, Martin. Uh-oh. Oh, whoa, wait, what? I think that big elk is checking out your elk bugle. <laughs> oh, but I don't have any antlers to fight with. <laughs> I got an idea. What? Let's call in another amazing creature. <gasps> yeah! Come on. Yeah, over here. Come on. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry! Hurry! 
Good job. <laughs> All right, just in time. Let's ride. Back to Animal Junction and Zaboomafu. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! That proves one thing. Always give animals with big antlers their space. Let's do the elk people for Zabu. All right. Hey, that's no elk. Do you know who it is? Hey, Zabu, what are you up to? I'm not up to. I'm up on. Up on a camel. How'd you get up there? On a vine. You know me. I'm a swinging lemur. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at this long neck. Uh -huh. I bet you a really cool song comes out of this camel. <laughs> hey, stop. Look at this. You, got, you have camel fuzz on your face. Well, I sort of landed head first. <laughs> it's pretty comfortable, though, isn't it, up there? Sure is. It's cushy. But I'm going to go down. Ready? All right. Uh, yeah. oh, um, huh. Are you stuck? You want to help yeah. me get you out of there? Okay, there you yeah. go. Whoa, Sabu. No, no, no. Uh, I meant to do that. <laughs> Where'd he go? Sabu? Hey, Zab! What are you doing? I'm going to get back on that camel. Here I go. <laughs> Zab, look out for his head. Whoa! Chris Martin, whoa! Whoa! Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, watch out, guys! Oh, Chris Martin! Whoa! Whoa, 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 I smell mud! Uh-oh. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, I did. Let's get you cleaned up. Towel? He goes out and use a towel. I'm okay, I'm okay. Say, uh, do camels burp? I don't know. Well, maybe they need to eat first. Like me. <laughs> the snack machine will have something. Huh. <laughs> Apple. Here you go. Thanks, Soth. Welcome. I wonder if I can hear the sounds of the camel swallowing. You can listen. definitely hear the sound of a camel chewing. Listen to that. And look how he chews, too. His mouth goes from side to side. Chris? Do you hear it? I hear food coming down. <gasps> and he makes a lot of grumbly, groany sounds. <laughs> Whoa, he does purp after all. What a song! I like to sing when I work with clay! Wiggy Waxwing! <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. When I bumped into Wiggy Waxwing. Oh, oh. oh you know something's wrong when Wiggy is running back and forth. What's the matter, Wiggy? Well, I'm wigging out. I can't remember my Wiggy uh -huh. Waxwing song. Oh. I can't remember any song. Oh, well, that's too bad, Wiggy. Everybody should have a song yeah. to sing. Google has his Googleberry song. Googleberries, Googleberries, they fill my Googleberry. Googleberries, Googleberries. And Narchi? <coughs> Narchi's got his trumpet sound. <coughs> then I thought of something. What? Wiggy, what? why don't you... First, she sang like a rooster. <laughs> then, she sang like a coyote. <laughs> then, like an elk. <laughs> and then, she did the song of the kookaburra. And that made her really happy. <laughs> the end. I love how different creatures make different sounds for different reasons. My favorite part was riding the camel. How'd you get up there? On a vine. You know me. I'm a swinging lemur. <laughs> I liked when we all sang with the kookaburra. <laughs> creature songs are great. Hey, guys, I know another creature song. Let's hear it. Oh. This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his funny behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We 
We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah! yeah. Hi, Crad Brothers. See you later, Zombie. <laughs> Keep on singing <laughs> and swinging. Let's head to Florida. Yeah, and hear the dolphins singing. We'll, we'll see, see you later. later. Hey, how do you want to get there? Well, let's go by horse. Sea kayak. Mountain bike. Boat. Bus. Jeep. Yeah. I got the keys. My name is Daniel, and my dog's name is George, and I love him very much. Hey, Chris, I'm up. Hey, hey, I got it. That was a great wipeout, Martin. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> We've got a way to go before we can surf like penguins. Yeah. Talk about some of the best surfers around. Those penguins really have the moves. They're gone. Where are they? Maybe Zabu knows. Let's call him. Zabu! Zabu! Hey, do you want to help us call Zabu? Come on. Zabu Mabu! There he is. Hey, Zabu. How you leaping, Lever? Zabu, you're pretty speedy today. Whoa! Whoa, Zabu! <laughs> so what do you think Zabu wants to eat today? How about apples? Alright! Zabu, I've got an apple for you. Zabu loves apples. There you go. <laughs> Not the whole thing. That's too much. Excuse me. Seven the <laughs> Hey, let's leap like lemurs. Leaping Crack Brothers. Hey, where did you two learn to leap like me? From you, Zav. Oh, well, you're pretty good. <laughs> I don't run, I jump instead. But the animal I saw in the forest, he was running. Who was it, Zob? I don't know, but as soon as I saw him, my mind said, who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? His legs were long, and his neck was too. He had a pointy thing on his face with a hook on the end. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. When he ran, he ran fast. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A long legged, long necked runner. Do you know who he is? Yeah! Round feathery body. Long, long neck and long, long legs. Wings but can't fly. Hmm? Hey, I didn't make that sound. The mystery animal must have made that sound. He must be! Longatsika! Mystery animal's here! An emu! <laughs> wow. That's him! That's who I saw! What an incredible creature! Wow. <laughs> daddy! Well, that's not your daddy, bird brain. He's too big. Most birds are small. Like this Merlin. But this guy is huge. The emu, one of the largest birds in the world. I've never seen such a long neck. Can't believe my mind. It's longer than I am. 
and even longer legs. Manga Chica. Long legs are great for running. And running is one of the things emus do best. Don't forget flying. Emus don't fly, Zob. They run. Yeah, emus have wings, but these wings are too small for flying. Plus, these birds are way too heavy. I'll lift you, emu. Heavy, yep, he's heavy. <laughs> That's why emus run. Hey, and remember when we were in Australia? Yeah, we saw a big group of emus hanging out in the outback. They were pecking around, eating seeds. Then, one of them spotted something. What? Dingoes! Dingoes are predators of emus. And with dingoes around, there was only one thing for the emu to do. Run! And then all the rest of the emus took off behind him. Boy, are emus fast. Hey, look at all these spiky feathers on the top of his head. I wonder if when he runs real fast, they go like this. This is great. I've always wanted to run with an emu. <laughs> uh, Chris, except for one problem. No shoes. Uh-oh. There's got to be shoes around here somewhere. Aha! Shoes! I'll just put them on and run with the emu. This is going to be great. You ready, emu? He's ready. Let's run! Hey, I'm getting nowhere. I could keep up with an emu with these shoes on. Slippers are smooth and slippery on the bottom, not like an emu's feet. An emu has three toes on each foot. Let's see, one, two, three. Yep, three toes. <laughs> oh, the tickles. With a claw on the end of each one that keeps him from slipping when he's on the run. Slippery is great for sliding. Have you ever heard of a creature who runs sideways? How about fiddler crabs? I like them. They run sideways, and I jump sideways. <laughs> Let's all run sideways. Come on. Yeah. Running sideways. You can do it. Or jumping sideways like me. When you're running sideways, make sure you look sideways. <laughs> Whew! I'm gonna need a little energy if we're gonna keep running. Hey! <laughs> I guess the emu's hungry too. Emu food coming up. Now, let's see, uh, penguin? No, that's not it. Uh, no, not me either. I've eaten already. Uh, Martin? No. Chris? No. Ah, emu. Emu. Hmm? Where's the food? Hmm? Uh, come and get it. Oh, oh, I didn't say run and get it. I'm out of here. Emus like to eat seeds and grasses. And look at this. His head can touch the ground while he's standing up. Wow, that's why he has a long neck, right, Martin? <laughs> exactly, Zob. His head can touch the ground without even bending down. <laughs> Stiff neck! <laughs> shoes, shoes. We've got to find some shoes so we can run with the emu. Hey, check this out. A gecko has sticky, suctiony pads on the tips of his toes. That helps him run up or run down walls. with sticky pads. Not me. Do you? Shoes, shoes, shoes. Whoa. Chris, there you are. 
I just found the most mungot seeker runner of all. Whoa, look at all those legs running together. It's a millipede. Millipedes have hundreds of legs. And look at how her legs move in little waves. Oh, yeah. Let's follow a wave. See that? I can't believe my mind. Doesn't she ever trip when she's running like that? <laughs> yeah, you'd think she would. But she doesn't. I wonder what it's like to have all those legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> That would be pretty weird. It's Millipede Martin. He's a bug guy. Hmm. Hey, Emu, you still hungry? Oh, oh no, no, no. They, they don't eat that, but they wear it. But I still don't get it. You know, Emu, a shoe? Why do they need to wear these things on their feet? Just to run. <laughs> I think they look funny. Not runny. <laughs> Sabu, you found our sneakers. Where were they? Well, Emu found them, in the snack machine. Thanks, Emu. Aha! Press the button, Martin. Then they can both run like an Emu. Great idea. And here's my running shoe. Thanks. Now we can run with the Emus. Let's go! Woo! I'm feeling Emu-ish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel emuish. How about you? Emuish. I feel emuish. Emuish. I'm a long legged emu sprinting all around. Come on, runners. It's a creature stampede in Animal Junction. Emuish. I feel emuish. Everybody's running today! emu oh. I'm a long-legged emu sprinting all around! emu -ish. We did it! We ran with emus! Running is great, whether you run like a gecko, a millipede, or a fisher. Well, don't forget puppies. Oh, well, they're all run down. Oh, it's our lap time. After all that running, you're bound to be tired. <laughs> now he wants to clean my teeth. <laughs> time to get up, I guess. <laughs> right. He moves making the sound. Do you know what that sound means? That means he's calling his chicks. Here they come. I can't believe my mind. <laughs> An emu chick can run soon after she hatches out of the egg. Those long little legs help her keep up with dad. Emu dads are great dads. They're the ones that hatch the chicks and watch over them. Wow, look at them go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> come on, everybody. I'll run too. Let's run like emu chicks. <laughs> you can do it. This is fun. <laughs> Follow me, chicks. <laughs> wow. Emu chicks are super speedy. And they have racing stripes. <laughs> Zabu, why are you so tired? Mm -hmm. No. Too much leaping, not enough sleeping. <sighs> Monday, honey. Hey, I think the Emu Dad and the chicks are leaving. See you later, buddy. There goes a great runner. And here comes a great flyer. Incoming Falcon, Doug! Guys, it's not a duck, and he didn't land on the barrel. <laughs> You're right, Zobby's not a duck. He's a duck hawk. Or a peregrine hmm? falcon. And he's one of the fastest flyers in the world. Oh. That's why he has such a strong chest and long wings. Wow. Hey, look. Oh. Drop the message from Jackie. Oh, read it quick, quick. Hi, it's me. We're going to the park. Who's we? Me and my friends. These are some of the dogs that live in the neighborhood. Just a sec. Thanks. Hi. Hi, Esco. 
Scooter here? got our new sneakers, let's take a trip to run with all sorts of animals. And we can find out the way different animals run while we do it. Our new sneakers are gonna be perfect for this trip. To the closet? To the closet. They're going to the closet, they're going on a trip. They're going to the closet uh -oh. to grab their stuff. You know what always it. happens when we open the closet. Well, we gotta do what we gotta do. Hey, Mark, we don't even need anything from the closet, do we? Not this time, you're right! Run! They're going on a cool adventure, and they don't know what's close. in store. They're coming from the closet, and they're headed out the door. See you later, Zabu! Bye, Zab! Bye! Whew! I am really moving! Hey, Chris, maybe you should take a break. My brother's a little excited. That's because we're getting a ride out to the grasslands to run with the animals. And look at them run. Giraffes! And one of them is headed this way. Have you ever noticed how tall a giraffe is? A giraffe can get as tall as your house. And that neck has a lot to do with it. But did you know that a giraffe's neck has the same number of bones in it as you do in yours. Seven. Seven? But a giraffe's neck is so much longer than ours. That's because a giraffe has seven big bones in his neck. Do you want to run like a giraffe? Let's go! Everyone runs a little differently, including giraffes. A giraffe puts his back legs in front of his front legs, like this. <laughs> Try it! <laughs> wow. Maybe we should just run with giant giraffe steps. This trip is going great. Already we found a brand new running style, taking giant steps like a giraffe. Our new sneakers are doing a great job! <laughs> Some animals run fast. Some animals run slow. Some hop up and down when they run. And some animals just kind of lumber along like uh, a rhinoceros. And he's headed this way. A rhino is a horned creature that looks kind of like a dinosaur. A rhino can get as heavy as this truck, but he's peaceful and nice. Usually, he just walks around the planets. But when he wants to run, a rhino can gallop as fast as a horse! Do you want to run like a rhino? Then just put your head down and go! <laughs> Running is so much fun! This is great! I could run with the animals forever. Only one problem, Martin. What? Our sneakers. Our running shoes. All the running's wearing them out. Don't worry, Martin. I think we've got one more run left in them. Antelopes? Antelopes. Let's do it. These are antelope. A herd of antelope is one big family that runs together. Like me and Martin, we're like a herd of crack running together. <laughs> You're right, bro. We are. You ever wonder where everybody's running to? Let's find out. Come on! This is the place! A water hole, of course! After running all day, everyone needs a good long drink of water.
That's better. Uh-oh. But look at our sneakers now. They're ruined. Oh, they're wrecked. All that running totally destroyed them. But I guess that's OK, because we ran with a lot of great animals. Hey, but we're not done yet. Look, a cheetah. <gasps> Amazing. Let's go. Step on a Chris is leaving us in the dust. Where's he going in such a hurry? We made it! Hey, Zom. Hey, guys. Oh. Now these shoes don't have any running after. Neither do I. Hey, guys, what took you so long? The cheetah. He beat us back. <laughs> we should have known. Great running. The cheetah is the fastest runner in the world. But he's a slow licker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheetahs don't always run fast. Actually, they spend most of their time walking really slow. So, when they do want to run fast, they can explode in a burst of speed. Manga, Sika! Cheetahs have long legs, too. Just like an emu. Long legs are great for running. Right, guys? Right, Zob. After a long run, I like to have a drink. Just like the cheetah does. Wow! His tongue can pick up water. Hey, look. He's using his tongue as a spoon. A spoon? Hmm. Not bad. <sighs> After a run like that, every cheetah needs a rest. Oh, nap time. I meant to do that. <laughs> Zob. <laughs> That's our Zabu. What a nutty lemur. I, I, I got licked by a cheetah. <laughs> hey, Chris, Martin, I think he likes me. That's for sure, Zob. It looks like he's off to chase another antelope. He's such a great runner. Bye, cheetah. I know lots of great runners in Zabu land. So I was leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I heard somebody say... Hey, Zabu Dabba Dabba Doo. Hey, who said that? Dooba Dee, it's me. Who's me? It's me, Zobsta. Oh, uh -huh. hi, Bugly. Zabu, my leaping little leaper. Wanna go for a Whoa. run? <laughs> well, I guess so. Whoa! Hang on. Whoa, you run fast. <laughs> Why, thank you, Zaboobity D. <laughs> I run fast because I have grippy feet Whoa. and long Whoa. legs. Whoa. That gets me running like the wind. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> can you go any faster? Does a bug have a lot of legs? Sure I can. Whoa. Hang on to me, Zaboobity D. <laughs> we ran faster and faster and faster yeah. until... <laughs> We were flying. Oh, hi, guys. And we were flying high. High in the sky, next to a dinosaur eye. <laughs> Great story, Zob. I have to try a bug ride sometime. We have to go to Zabu land to get them. What was your favorite part of the day, Zob? Oh, I liked when you guys ran with the emu. I liked when Jackie was running with the dogs. My favorite part of the day was running with the giraffe and the cheetah. This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his funny behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! See you later.
matter, Zabu? Bye, Zabumafu. What's the matter? Oh, my nose is running. You'll be fine. Because we're going river running! Kayaks? Kayaks. Yeah! Martin, where's your kayak? Stand at the river! <laughs> See you next time! Hello, my name is Hannah, and this is my pet Emu, Tweety. I helped raise her. <laughs>